Welcome to KCRS 20, the second annual gathering of basic and translational science researchers in kidney cancer. Thank you for joining us from around the globe. My name is Brian Lewis and I'm the president of Kidney Can. On behalf of the thousands of patients and caregivers around the world, thank you for being here with us today. This is a critical juncture in our search for a cure. We begin by thanking all of those who've blazed the trail before us. We have more than 40 countries represented today and as a global community, we want to thank all of those courageous folks, many attending today, who have braved this pandemic and stood on the front lines to serve others. Thank you. Over the span of a few years and hundreds of Capitol Hill meetings, advocates, including myself and some others, aided by our champion Congresswoman Nita Lowy, together, we successfully inserted $10 million in the Congressional Defense Bill uh, for kidney cancer. The following year, we increased it to $15 million. And these efforts resulted in the first dedicated federal medical research funding for kidney cancer. And today and tomorrow, you'll hear from several of those funded researchers. Kidney Can is an organization that's founded by stage four patients. Three years ago, after we had gotten our initial funding, we asked, okay, what's next? What do we do? What's happening with the money that's, and what's being researched? We have to start thinking outside of the box. And so we knew we had to prevent new silos from being built. And so we embarked on discussions with patients and researchers and clinicians. I have to give a shout out here to Ralph and Brendan Knapp and Hans Hammers and Susan Petit and C15 and David McDermott and Michael Atkins and Tony Schwery and others, uh, even including some folks on smart patients. What began as a query, a germ of an idea, it sprouted and it grew from an idea on a napkin to a discussion and an action plan. Much like your research, it's an idea that grew and maybe even grows into a Nobel Prize. As patients, we need to hear what is groundbreaking or what might be next. There might be a next breakthrough someplace that we want to hear about in this research. And in order to do that, we decided to get the right people at the right time in the right place. Not only the right people, get the smartest people on the planet together to tackle this issue. Basic scientists, translational folks, MD, PhDs, pathologists, industry, advocates, the government, clinicians, molecular biologists, key opinion leaders. Each of you listening today and tomorrow, they're part of that team. Thank you. The success last year in Philadelphia leads us here today. Year two of our Kidney Cancer Research Summit. We're anticipating a smooth digital delivery of this content today and tomorrow, but we hope that these will be transformative sessions for all of you. And if we have any technical difficulties, please bear with us. Zoom's the newest member of our family as well. Finally, to the research community on this call today, as you wrestle with your next hypothesis, when you write your next grant, when you break your next test tube, or you inject your next mouse, or you see your next patient, don't ever forget, lives are being upended. Fathers are not walking their daughters down the aisle. Grandmothers are missing the births of their grandchildren. Patients are missing graduations and birthdays. People are dying daily. So on behalf of the patients and the caregivers and loved ones and family and friends, all of us across the globe, we're counting on you. It's our blood, your sweat, all of our tears. It's your talents and your efforts. Don't waver, persevere. Each of you provide us hope. I want to thank Tony and Hans and Susan Petit, the entire steering committee, and each of you arriving today at the doorstep of KCRS 20. It's now my distinct pleasure to introduce our KCRS co-chairs, Hans Hammers and Tony Schwery. Take it away, Tony and Hans. Welcome, everybody, to KCRS 2020. Um, it's a real pleasure seeing you all. Um, I'm Hans Hammers. I'm from UT Southwestern, and um, it's a real pleasure to uh, get started with this meeting. Uh, you know, kidney cancer has been underfunded and undertreated, um, but I think as a community, we have achieved a lot. We went from essentially no effective therapies for systemic for metastatic kidney cancer to now having to choose between multiple uh, first-line combination therapies, really a luxury of riches uh, coming from nothing. Um, we also went from virtually no funding available for research uh, to now having 
our dedicated uh, kidney cancer research program um, at the DOD, and we are really excited about this. However, we are a small community, and it's been more important than ever for basic uh, scientists, translational uh, researchers, and uh, clinical scientists and physicians to uh, come together to collaborate, to network, to think outside of the box. Kidney Can KCS has been founded and is run by patients and caregivers affected by kidney cancer. Individuals who are really passionate about our community, our work, our science, patient care, and us working together on solving big problems. So I wanna thank them and all the other kidney cancer advocacy organizations across the globe uh, to make this possible. This is KCRS, and with that, I would like to give over to my co-chair, Dr. Tony Cherry. Thank you, Hans. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Susan. And it's amazing in uh, two to three years how um, we came all together, together as a community, community of patients and families, communities of advocates, communities of scientists and clinicians, all focused together on trying to cure kidney cancer. Uh, so thank you all really for being here. We have over 700 folks that are registered to look at the latest and greatest in kidney cancer research. The work of the patient advocates like Brian Lewis and others led in large part to the Department of Defense, the CDRMP awards that started in 2017 and fueled all of us together uh, based on the funding that we are receiving to put our heads together and focus more closely on kidney cancer. And this is the product. This is the second year and only the second year of KCRS. And hopefully we will stay for a long time and we will not stop till we cure kidney cancer. Um, we have a program today, this afternoon, at least Eastern Standard Time, and tomorrow focused on multiple aspects, as you can see the agenda dealing with uh, kidney cancer, translational, basic and clinical, with especially a session focused, about, focused around the European Society of Medical Oncology, ESMO 2020 meeting that happened only a few weeks ago, virtually of course, where we're gonna look at the latest advances, both clinically and translationally. And many of the session really are based on an unmet need in kidney cancer and focused on the awards that were given by the Department of Defense to fuel kidney cancer research. But one of the highlights, if not the highlight of all this meeting is the keynote speaker that um, I will share my screen to introduce him because I, I really wanna go through some couple of slides and uh, couple of minutes that um, I have to introduce my uh, colleague, my mentor, and my friend, Dr. Bill Kaden. So these are the slides. And this is Dr. Kalen here um, with the Nobel Prize Award that we have followed closely, many of us in clinic. I was in the middle of clinic when he got the award. It's really my pleasure to, um, to present him here. I remember very well the day on October 7, 2019 when he received that call and um, you know, asked me to call him a bit uh, later and uh, several, the two accidents I almost got in on the road to um, Dana-Farber. And, uh, you know, I had to look again, Bill, for the awards that he had and uh, to fit them all on one slide, these are some of the selected awards he received since 1990. And the Nobel Prize here uh, that uh, Dr. Kalin received was Sir Peter Ratcliffe and Greg Semenza 
uh, was not the last one. Um, just a few weeks ago or a few days ago, actually, he received another award from the BCRF, the Jill Rose Award for Scientific Excellence, and uh, many will be uh, coming. But, you know, it is very hard, and I could talk for a long time uh, about Dr. Kalin, but I want to highlight things specific to Kidney Cancer Research Symposium. Many of you know that he was um, among um, us at KCRS 2019 and decided to stay an extra night in uh, Philadelphia. I don't know if it was the food, paying attention very well here, unlike others on their phone on your right here, and really blessed that here with Susan Potit, really blessed us with his uh, presence. And, and that was a couple of days before um, we were about to give medical oncology grand round September 16, so that's two days after KCRS 2019. And that's me sitting here doing the slides next to each other and telling him actually what do, what slide should be in his talk. So you can see after a couple of minutes, um, his reaction, which is, um, you know, everybody would agree um, with. But my, my slide here is about, if you ask me to pick one thing about Bill, and there are many things that are admirable including always his uh, choices of restaurants. But the one thing that really stands out that I learn every day from is the rigor, the Bill Kalin rigor, the scientific rigor and the search for the truth always with the rigors that is unwavering. And uh, for many of you, and we have a lot of trainees here, even senior people, these are must read. Um, you know, papers in nature and science about how to conduct research and what to say perhaps and what to publish and how to publish houses of brick, quoting Bill himself here, not mentions of uh, straws. I, I invite you all to read these very, very important uh, paper. And then you will understand Dr. Kalin much better if you don't know him at the you know, on a personal level with his, um, with his work. Uh, so his keynote today is about the studies of VHL gene uh, and how they get us hopefully one day through combinational therapy to cure uh, kidney cancer. And at the end of the talk, we're gonna have a 20 minute, hopefully you can send us, you know, all your question and it will be a dialogue with um, Dr. Uh, Kalin. 